Shortly after the brand split was reinstated and just days after the draft which set Raw and SmackDown's rosters, Sami Zayn and Owens were scheduled to fight one last time at the July 24 pay-per-view, PPV. Both men were headed to Monday nights, so we all knew their paths would cross again at some point. But Zayn's win gave the impression his fortunes were looking up, while the prize fighter looked to regroup. Since that night in Washington, D.C., however, the opposite has played out. The differences were apparent at SummerSlam. While KO's renewed partnership with Chris Jericho landed on the main card, where they were victorious over Enzo Amor and Big Cass, Zayn was booked into an unannounced pre-show match with Neville. The two former NXT champions were victorious over the Dudleys, but it was clearly Sami who was adrift. It got slightly better when Finn Balor, who won at the biggest party of the summer to become the first Universal title holder, had to forfeit the belt due to injury. Both Zayn and Owens were given an opportunity to compete for the strap. But the likable one was eliminated in his qualifying match for the four-way which would produce a new champ, while his former friend not only made it into that elimination, but won the whole thing, with an assist from Triple H. Meanwhile, Jericho also came up short in his qualifier. And while he's offered his support to his best friend Kevin, that support hasn't turned into major opportunities for a man who was once the first undisputed champ in WWE history. With Clash of Champions around the corner and neither wrestler involved in a feud likely to land them on the card, Zayn was a guest on Y2J's talk show segment, The Highlight Reel. There, two guys with a wealth of wrestling experience and knowledge gathered while working all across the globe put together a heated exchange that would give General Manager Mick Foley a reason to book them on the PPV. Mixing reality and kayfabe, Jericho pointed out Zayn's sagging fortunes post-battleground. Sami fired back that The Rock and Rollins weren't much better, and warned him about what happens to KO's best friends. A heelish cheap shot from the six-time WWE champ later, and mission.